So the game I'm playing today is called Riddle School. This is a Flash game that originally came out on Newgrounds back in 2006. It's not another X-Gen Studios game. I'm gonna be waiting a couple weeks before I play the next X-Gen game that I plan on playing. So if you're unfamiliar with the Riddle School games, they are a series of point-and-click style Flash games, and they have been around for quite some time. Like I said, the first game came out in 2006, and there's at least seven games in this series. I have known about this series for a little while, but I've never actually played any of the games. From what I can tell though, it's basically a point-and-click game where you play as a kid who's trying to escape from school. And I think that's pretty much the entire game, at least the first game. And what is kind of weird about this game, or just the Riddle School series in general, is that even though this series has been around for a very long time, it has been seeing a bit of a resurgence in popularity recently, especially last year when the game kind of blew up within the Let's Play community on YouTube. Because for whatever reason, I suddenly started seeing a lot of people on YouTube playing this game, and I don't fully understand why. I can only assume that another really big Let's Player on YouTube played this, because that's just generally what happens. You know, when a very big Let's Player on YouTube plays even the most obscure game they can find, usually it results in people flocking to that game and either playing it or purchasing it or making their own videos of it, and it just keeps blowing up from there. It's just what happens within this community. But Riddle School did seem to be a fairly popular Flash game when it first came out as well, because this game has like 2 million plays on Newgrounds. So we're just gonna jump right in and play this. I have no idea if I'm going to play the other games in the Riddle School series, but knowing me, I probably will. So it looks like we do have a bunch of options on the title screen right here. Oh, okay, and this guy's expression changes whenever I whenever I move my mouse over a different uh, option here. Also, what is kind of cool is that these little, like, white rectangles bounce off of each other, and then they move back into place. Also, this, this music as well. This music is surprisingly epic, and I don't really know why. Okay. Well, if you're just gonna start freezing already, then we might as well- we might as well just begin and get this over with as fast as possible. Alright, John Bro presents. Wow, okay. And suddenly the music just got even more insane. Grown. I've been sitting here for two hours straight listening to edition facts. All because I tease somebody, I'm in a special class. I don't even have a smart teacher. Right now I'm as free as a bird in a birdcage. Alright, that's it. I'm getting out of this school. What's 131 plus 42 again? I forget. Wow, how, how could you possibly forget something as simple as that, dude? It's 173. Also, mathness. 3 plus 0 equals 2. So, this guy's obviously an idiot. Growing. Okay, and I guess I just- I guess I just fainted or something. Riddle school! Oh, jeez, okay. Yeah, what is this? We all- all of a sudden have this, like, very epic music with this weird droning noise in the background. This is- this is the worst music I've ever heard in a Flash game. No offense to the creator, but I mean, it's just- it's just weird. Right, so this is a point-and-click Flash game, so I assume I have to click on things. Alright, no outlet here. Uh, tables... the tables do absolutely nothing. You can tell the school's low budget just by looking at that. Oh, yeah, the, the cracks, the cracks in the floor. I know for sure this room was never on a designer show. That's the teacher, Mr. Cam. He asked me a lot of questions because he doesn't know any of the answers. Um, pencil sharpener? That's it. Hey teacher, could I sharpen my pencil? Only one person at a time. There's only one person in this class. Now that was sharp! I can't believe I said that, alright, you're- you have- you have bad puns as well, apparently. Okay, so, where- where to go next? Special class for the insane? Um, well, I would probably label Mr. Com as- as insane. Well, actually, I just label him as an idiot, but... To whom the bell doesn't toll, it rings when school ends. Which it doesn't, ever. Need I say more? Five dollars for Prez, five is a popular guy in this school. It's because of his Vote 5 shirt. Alright, well I can go back in class, which I probably do not want to do. Uh, go to the west, the school, do the school doors are shut during school hours. I bet the principal has the keys. I was there yesterday and then I got sent to that class. Only last time, I was with the teacher. It'll be harder this time, I don't even have a hall pass. There's a hall cord right before you reach the hall's end. Well, it's all the way down the hall and past the teacher's lounge. If I can make it there, I'm as good as free. Okay, so this guy's basically telling me what to do. It's a clock. It's also a reminder that I waste all my time at school. That explains why I never pay attention to clocks anymore. 
And, okay, I can turn on the water fountain, but I don't really know what the point of that is. Can I go in this room right here? What the heck is going on? What? The wor Earth is flat? Oh, okay. You're, you're from, like, the Victorian era. Um, John Bro, this is just a painting. That's a drawing by somebody named John Bro. Yeah, I think John Bro's the guy who made this, actually. Looking out there reminds me I'm trapped here. That's my teacher, Miss Coffee, who drinks more coffee than anyone else I know. Oh, her name is Coffee, yeah. She finishes teaching lessons two hours early in. It, early in a hard-to-understand, jittery voice. Okay, trash sent by Oscar. Wow, feather duster in a dustbin. Ironic. That's Smiley. She's the only one in the school who likes learning. Smiley's also the one I made fun of to be in that special class. That's Fred. My most fr my best friend and the most bored class member, and I already can't speak. That's Zack, who's always very cold. He has no problem freezing the water fountain. Um... Okay, well, I can't think of anything else to do here. I have a feather duster, and I have no clue what I could use that for. Or use that on, or whatever the heck. Um, guess we'll keep going east. Janitor's closet? Sure, why the heck not? What are you doing? Get out of my closet! Okay, never mind, I guess we're not going there just yet. You don't want to know what happened there. <laughs> okay, we'll just move on then. Um, the bathroom, perhaps? I love nobody, five was not here. Oh, ornage are my... I can't even read that. What about the sparkly bathroom? That's the untouched stall, which is in perfect condition and currently on display. Okay, what about this one? That's the only stall the guys ever use, mainly for graffiti. As crazy as it sounds, those are sinks. Just look at the sleek design. I would have thought twice about escaping school if it all if it all was that cool looking. Okay, big fat battery clogged the left stall's pipes and choked up all that water. Um, okay. Is there anything that I can do here? That's just a light. I guess, I guess there's nothing. Oh my god, this, this music's getting a little bit annoying now, I'm gonna be honest. Hey, it's me, Richie, the hall guard. Got a hall pass? Because if you don't, you can't pass. Oh, okay, so I have to, I have to go back over here. I can't go in that, that other door? No, I guess, I guess I can't. Okay. So what exactly do I, do I use the feather duster on? How do I, wait, what did I do? Wait. Did I just reset the game? What even happened? I just pressed the 2 key on my keyboard, thinking it would do something like, like, use one of the items in my inventory, but I think I just restarted the game. Alright, minor, minor setback, but we're back in the action here. I found out that I can give the feather duster to, uh, the janitor right here. Also, he's wearing a name tag that says 808. A name tag that says 808. A name tag that says 808. You found my feather duster! Keep the change. Alright. So, I have money now. I don't know what to do with this. Could I court someone with this? Could I bribe someone? I, I don't even know. I'm not sure what, what I'm even doing anymore. I'm just kind of teleporting through the rooms. Um, perhaps, maybe... Okay, well, actually, can I give this guy money? No? Okay, giving giving him money doesn't work, so I have to go back and try, try and find something here. Ah, okay, I can open up this locker right here. And, uh, I can take the hall pass. Alright, there we go. Yeah, because I was wondering, I was trying to click on all these lockers just to see if they did anything, but none of the, the other ones over here were doing anything, but there we go. Managed to open up that one at least, so we can probably get through here now. Yes, I do have a hall pass, so... Wait, did, did we, did we get through? Okay, hang on, I need to, I need to click on it. Yes, I do, so please get out of my way! Oh, jeez, I can go into the women's bathroom? Do I want to do this? Listen, if I went in there, you'd hear screaming and shrieks, not only from anyone in there, but from me. Okay, well, let's not, not do that then. Actually, just to make sure that I'm not missing anything, let me click on all the lockers here. Okay, none of those did anything. What about these right here? Okay, those aren't doing anything either. This school has seven students and more than 50 lockers. No sanity! That's a poster I made at home because of the bizarre number of lockers in this school. No wonder this school's so low budget. It was expected to be popular. Alright, what is over here? Ooh, give me a cookie. I, uh, I don't, I don't have a cookie for you. Uh, what, what? Okay. I don't even know who you are, but I'm trying to click on things. I think I'm safe. The last fire we ever had was when Miss Coffee's coffee spontaneously combusted. Wait, can I go in the teacher's lounge? The lounge, I mean. The principal's office is past the teacher's lounge, but I can't get in. Chubb is in the way. Oh, but I can still go to the east, though. Alright. Um, what is this? Getting out of school through that door is out of the question. Can go north. What the heck's going on in here? 
The cookie vending machine is unfortunately broken. That's a diagram of the cafeteria reminding us all what it looked like clean. Someone managed to spill their blueberry wet aid up there. That's green, unrecognizable gunk. That's the school famous smiley smudge. That's how I made fun of smiley, with mustard. That's Greg, the least hungry and the most restful student in school. Can I, can I do anything with, with the money at all? Possibly? Maybe? Perhaps? No. I can't use it on the vending machine because it's broken. Okay. I'm, I'm clicking on, on my inventory items right here. And by the way, guys, off screen when I was trying to figure out what the heck I was supposed to do, I found out that apparently if I click any button or if I press any button on my keyboard, it just resets the game. I have no idea why the game was designed like that, but oh, okay. Take the dollar, fatty. Alright, I guess I'm not actually giving him a, a cookie then, fine. What are you doing here? I need to talk to the principal standing, what teacher are you, or wrong room. Oh, I have multiple options? Uh... I need to talk to the principal? And why is that? Oh jeez, it's an emergency, I want to tell him a joke, my teacher sent me up, or never mind. Uh... Let, let's, okay, let's try... Uh, my teacher sent me up, really? You don't want your teacher on the phone, do you? Get out. Okay, that's, that's obviously not it. I need to talk to the principal. I want to tell him a joke. Oh, jokes are always fun. Go on right in. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alrighty then. Fine. Oh, wait. This is just a... What is this music? For God's sakes. This is so weird. Okay, are we just watching a cutscene? Okay, I guess I have to run now. Do I have to run? How nice of you to drop by. Okay, I kind of have to get out of here now, though. Bye then. Alright. Well, I guess we're just... Are we, are we just running now? I have no idea what what I'm even supposed to do anymore. This this won't unlock... This, will this unlock the door? I don't, I don't even know. Oh, it did. Oh, wait a second. Was that the entire game? John Bro's Riddle School. Now go read a good book. Yeah, that was, that was the entire game, guys. Okay, well, I didn't think it was gonna be this short. Oh, also, this thing is, like, really cool. When I when I scroll my mouse over it, these things, like, launch up into the air. These little, like, like platforms, or whatever. Okay, then. Yeah, that's that's the entire game, guys. That's it. We, we beat the game. Okay, well, in that case, how about we check out some other stuff here. The instructions, word balloons, click on the word balloon. Okay, this is just... Oh, if you press any keys during gameplay, the game will restart. Oh, okay. So maybe I should have read the instructions first, actually. Okay, so I guess that is part of the game. Or is it? Or maybe it's a bug. I, I don't even know, but it looks like the developer is aware of it. The disclaimer? A spoof tribute of Pico's School by Tom Fulp, the most well-known, well-action-scripted game of its time. Flash 3, which now seems ancient. Okay. Oh, alrighty then. So, this is this is supposed to be a parody of another Flash game, I guess. These are just the credits, which I already saw. Fun facts, time to make three weeks. Original plan for this game was to escape by way of shooting. Would have involved crinkles, madness characters, violence used, mildly inappropriate language. The idea quickly died away, thankfully enough, but I still kept the touch I had with the original. On the first classroom blackboard, Mathness is written. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that. Also, why is there a, a quit option right here? Let me guess, this is like the Invader Zim Flash games, where if I click on it, it crashes the it crashes the game. Oh no, it, it actually doesn't do anything at all, okay. Well then why is the option even there then if it doesn't do anything? I don't even know, but I guess that's it guys. That is it for uh, the first Riddle School game. I wasn't expecting it to be this short, but I mean, we, we beat the game. That, that was it. And to be honest, now that I've played through this game in its entirety, I understand even less why this game got a resurgence in popularity recently, and why so many Let's Players suddenly began playing this game. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, this, this, this game was kind of disappointing, if I may be completely honest with you. I mean, disappointing in terms of its length. I honestly thought this was going to be a little bit longer, but no, I probably could have completed this game in like less than five minutes if I tried fast enough. If I did a speed run of this. But then again, it is just the first game. The other games are probably a heck of a lot better. And I have seen previews of the other Riddle School games on Newgrounds, and they do look a heck of a lot better. I think because they are more recent, and therefore they're a lot more well detailed, so they'll probably be a lot longer and they will be much better. So, you know what? Maybe I will try playing the other Riddle School games just to see what they're what they're all about. 
hopefully they're they're much better than the first game because this one just uh it, it kind of sucked I, I'm not gonna lie. At least in terms of how short it was. Hopefully the other ones will be a little bit longer. Well, actually a lot longer would be great because this one was like incredibly short. But aside from my criticisms of the game, if you want to play this for yourselves, the link is in the description. And if I do plan on turning this into a series, well, I just hope that the other games are a lot better than this. I hope. They probably will be, but you never know. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!